Today, we're gonna go over the modern kitchen and what it takes to make your kitchen more of a modern aesthetic versus maybe a traditional or classic kitchen. So these are the tips and tricks that you can use in your own kitchen remodel to get you that modern kitchen feel. So first, side note, I know I look a little disheveled. We got a new dog this week, which is exciting. It's been two years since our little Bailey passed away. If you've been following for a long time, you may have remembered he was in a few of the videos. Uh, so he is no longer with us. It's been two years in April, but we did add to our family this week. So it's been a few sleepless nights, as you may know if you have dogs um, just getting adjusted to a new home and new family. So I wanted to make sure I got this video out and done for you guys, even if I'm not <laughs> at my best. But the information will still be great. So when we're thinking about our kitchen, one of the first areas that we want to think about is our kitchen cabinetry. Now that is going to really define the space. In a lot of your classic and more traditional or more uh, common, I, could, I guess you could say popular styles is you know the shaker panel. That one is a really popular style that we see quite often. It has a bit of a reveal to it. Other styles that we often see are a raised panel cabinet door, maybe a cathedral or an arched raised panel door. We see a beadboard cabinet doors. Those are really common in like that French country look. We'll also see ones with mullions and even open frame or glass inserts. There's lots of other ones. There's also other names. There's lots of cabinets. But when it comes to a modern kitchen, we really want to look at something like the flat panel cabinet door. I feel like when it comes to the modern kitchen, that would be the most typical style that you would see in a modern kitchen is something that is flat without any of that kind of detail work in it. Now, it's not to say a shaker panel can't be made to look more modern, but typically I would say if you want that modern feel, go for a flat panel cabinet door. So now we've got our cabinets. Now that is a huge investment. I also think when you're when you're doing a modern kitchen, you don't have to do everything monochromatic. I think sometimes when we think of modern, we think of a very um, simple and clean color aesthetic, which yes, is true, but it can also deviate from that. I've done modern kitchens where we've done three different colors of cabinets. We did a black island to really anchor the space. We did a natural wood tone for the remainder base and storage cabinets. And then we did the uppers in this really soft, beautiful gray, grayish color. So with this cabinet, you could look at a modern kitchen that could be in a super vibrant color. With these flat panel doors, it'll still read very modern. You could look at doing it all monochromatic. As I mentioned, you can look at it doing it all in natural wood tones. There's a lot of options in the modern aesthetic. The biggest one is that cabinet detail. Having that cabinet detail as minimalistic and simple clean lines as possible is really going to help give you that modern kitchen. Now, another caveat to this is the hardware. I find it looks really wonderful when you're doing a modern kitchen to think about your hardware, hardware in the same way. Something modern, something sleek. We often have hardware that you can look at and go, oh, that is French country. You know, it's very traditional looking. It might have that curved detail in the handle. There's a lot of different pieces of hardware and hardware is amazing because it's like the jewelry of your home. I think hardware is an area where if you're trying to save on certain areas, maybe consider splurging on your hardware. When it comes to modern hardware, I've done these really sleek and modern cabinet pulls where from afar you can't actually really see them, but up close they're just almost hidden around the side of the cabinet. They're very, very sleek and very, very modern. Those look beautiful. There's also really beautiful hardware pieces that bring in, you know, leather look to it, but in a modern way you can get really nice long sleek pulls. You could get could very get. simple round finger poles. Those are really beautiful as well, very modern. I think when it comes to it, you have to think about it like jewelry. jewelry. Sometimes less is more, but you can still pick it as like a statement piece. So really thinking about the type of hardware that you bring into your space, especially into your modern kitchen, make sure that the hardware matches your aesthetic. Just a brief pause here. If you're enjoying the content of today's video, please hit that like button. I greatly appreciate it. it. Helps algorithm and all that jazz. Thank you. Now, another big area of your modern kitchen that is going to really stand out is your backsplash. There's a couple different food for thought items that I would present to you. 
you don't have to go crazy and buy, you know, the solid slab. Don't get me wrong, something like a solid stone, like a quartz that you use on the counter and run up, up the back is modern all the way. Using that one simple look, that clean look of just one piece is a really stunning and beautiful way to achieve that modern kitchen. And I would say if that is in the budget, go for it. And it's so easy to clean. I would love to have that, you know, one slab of stone backsplash. I think that looks fantastic. And right. you could do that even if you're not into modern kitchens. That just looks really, really good. Now, if you don't have that kind of budget, but you want to do something really lovely, you can still use something like a typical three by six white subway tile and make it modern. It all has to do with the placement. So when you take something like a simple subway tile, you can really change the way it looks. So think about something like modern farmhouse. That you're probably going to see it in a typical brick pattern. Whereas take that same exact tile and now do it stacked, whether it's horizontal or vertical. Now that takes it into a whole different direction. It looks very different. You could also do different, more modern takes on a stacked or slightly staggered approach to the install. I would say in that case, you would do it more in the vertical line. You can also look at doing something that's a little bit longer. So maybe a three by 16 inch instead of the typical like three by six. There's lots of ways to take a simple tile and make it feel really modern and try to fit that in your budget if perhaps you need to save in some places. That's a really good trick. Another trick with your backsplash as well is to think about minimizing those grout lines and making them as, you know, non-noticeable as possible. I find the biggest thing with a modern kitchen that's really going to make your modern kitchen feel modern is trying to reduce visual noise. And I think that's the key component is really making it simple and clean lines and as non-cluttered as possible and that will extend to the items that you keep out on your countertops when we're thinking about modern we're thinking about clean i find that the modern kitchen really draws us in because it's just such a beautiful and simple aesthetic it really is allowing you to enjoy the design of the space and not be distracted by visual noise that being said, don't get me wrong, I love like a country kitchen that has all those things in it, but I also love a modern kitchen and I love that clean countertop, that clean aesthetic. Some of the trends in our kitchen have also shown backsplashes done in a glass or a or a mirrored. Now, I feel like I got a lot of comments that said people didn't like the mirrored look, but it definitely is modern and definitely has a really interesting aesthetic to it. I feel like perhaps, and this is just me, but if you have a beautiful condo in New York, I don't know why I'm thinking New York, but just like a beautiful co co condo in like Manhattan and maybe you don't cook that much and you don't have to worry about cleaning that much. Something with some more mirrors and simple like clean lines would just look beautiful because it really is just a showpiece. I feel like if you're like me and you cook a ton, even my backsplash I don't love because of the grout and I find the grout is hard to keep clean. So that's just like one of those things where, yeah, if you cook a lot, think about Think about how you live in your kitchen <laughs> when you're choosing your backsplash. I will tell you that makes a big difference. The countertop is another one that is so important. It's such a big decision. You know, a lot of people love the look of marble, but typically in the imagery that we see, it's either just a showpiece or it's not real marble because marble stains so easily. It is a very porous material. I personally have marble in my washroom and I'll tell you right now, I would rip it out in a heartbeat because it looks beautiful, but it is so difficult to maintain. I absolutely, like I'm going to say this very boldly, I hate the marble countertop in my kitchen. It is horrible. I would much rather have a quartz, a corian, a meganite, like pretty much any other solid surface, a granite, a basalt, I just, I don't care, Co concrete. I would do a concrete kitchen countertop before I did this ever again. Now that can stain too, but the point is marble looks beautiful, but it's super difficult to maintain. So I want to make sure that I point that out. I feel like the number one countertop that we see nowadays is quartz. I really do like quartz, but they will tell you that it is maintenance free. And I will tell you that that is not true. <laughs> I find 
that if you have anything wet that sits there, like I, you know, you do the dishes, you put them on a drying, I have like a drying pad. And I noticed over time that it almost looked in certain lights, like there was like a yellowing on it. And that was not pleasant. I had to do a lot of research to figure out how to get that off. There is special cleaner for it, but I just realized that as a designer, many times I've said, oh, quartz is great or Corian is great because it's low or no maintenance. It's not true. I mean, everything that's a stone definitely has some level of maintenance to it and some things that you have to be conscious of. So that is my one caveat. I don't think there's a perfect countertop. Granite is very good as well, but there is like ceiling and stuff that have to go in there. And from a cost perspective, granite, if you're willing to do a granite look in more of a modern, like you could still do a lighter granite with the backsplash, it could still look very modern. I think when we, I picture, mo I always picture granite as like a dark stone, but they do have lighter colored granite. And with that, I find it's one of the more inexpensive natural stone materials that you can go with, like in the stone world, not in just general. The most cost effective, of course, is using something like a laminate or a formica. And they do have, like they have come a long way. You can do a marble aesthetic, even if you are doing a laminate or a formica type material. So, you know, you can still do that. And I suggest if you ever do that, do the square nose edge, but try not to get that little, there's like a corner seam piece that you don't want that exposed. So see if they can do a bit of a curve there so they can wrap it. And that makes it look like a little bit more sleek and still modern, but um, not having that like chip point. Comes from commercial design, that happens a lot. Oh, for the Formica, I was, so the edge style is called the quarter round top bottom or the beveled edge are the two styles. I couldn't remember the name off the top of my head, so I just quickly looked it up. So those two will make it look and feel more modern. And then they do have laminates that look like, um, a marble. So there's lots of options that you can still use if you're if you're needing to be more cost effective. Okay, when you're thinking about your modern kitchen, I think lighting is key to giving it that layering in it to make it not feel too cold. Sometimes when we do modern aesthetics, it can feel not as warm and friendly and we want to make sure that we're still trying to capture that because we want it to feel like a home. Unless you're not into that, then maybe then maybe not. But for most people, they still want it to feel homey. So if you're doing your modern kitchen, think about adding lighting underneath your cabinetry and even on under the baseboard you know this is hmm, you have to make sure you keep your space clean but it looks so good in a modern kitchen so if you have lighting under your baseboard lighting under your cabinetry and then you have your ceiling lighting if you can do like a um a cove lighting something that's hidden in like an led strip within it that looks a lot more modern than doing the pot lights i think if you can do something with a cove lighting system within your kitchen depending on how far you're renovating of course that would look extremely you know beautiful for a modern space and then the you know island if you have one is an area where you can bring in these gorgeous statement pieces now what i love about mar modern kitchens there's been some really amazing lights that have come out i've recently really been gravitating to these led lights that almost look like a rope that's kind of like twined it's very modern looking i'll show some images here of the ones i'm thinking about i also think there's a lot of beautiful just you know almost like that retro feeling like that 70s vibe which is super modern that really work with this aesthetic but also add some life to the space i feel like doing the feature pendants within your kitchen space is a way to really like up level that modern space and make it feel warm and inviting because lighting just plays such a huge role in our space i find in a modern kitchen when we're thinking about purchasing a sink we're really thinking about that sleek and you know big basin sink but undermount and not the apron front because that kind of reads more country so we're definitely thinking of an undermount sink. I personally love the Blanco black. Now I've heard nightmare stories about using those dark blacks and grays. I think they look really good though, but I don't think they're super practical. But that being said, they look absolutely gorgeous. But even just a beautiful stainless steel, simple, square, large, oversized undermount sink will look great in your modern kitchen. And then you can bring that into your faucets as well. So thinking about your faucet that you bring in, something sleek with very minimal you know, detail to it. When we're thinking about our modern kitchen, simple, like less is more, right? So when it comes to appliances in your modern kitchen, 
I feel like, oh, there's so many beautiful options that we can go with. It is really, well, it'll depend on your budget and also depend on the style that you're going for. There's always bringing in a very uh, sleek and look. Now, what I mean is your fridge, it has the cabinetry built in front of it. Your dishwasher is the same and it's very, very sleek and minimal. You almost don't even know where the appliances are. Another popular, if you're going for that sleek and not very noticeable look, is maybe doing an induction cooktop with a separate oven, wall oven, something like that, or even just a very sleek and modern stove that has like that induction cooktop. It really depends on how clean and modern you want it. You can still do a gas top with a modern aesthetic. It's just the way that you integrate the appliances in. Mm. I'm also really loving like the black or the dark. Um, there's like a dark stainless steel look that you can bring in if you like more of that darker and bolder aesthetic, but still very modern in aesthetic. I also personally, which I think you could make it work, but it definitely isn't like modern on its own. I really love a look or new stove. And I've seen some kitchens that are fairly modern that bring in like the white version of it with the gold, but it's it's a lot more ornate. So I feel like you have to really kind of play with how that works, but Personally, just a personal favorite. I absolutely love a Le Cornu stove and I don't know if they're any good, but they're like on my bucket list. <laughs> Another way to go with a modern kitchen that looks absolutely stunning is to go with those commercial style uh, appliances. So you think a separate fridge and freezer standing combo, like Wolf sells these, they're very popular. That being said, you have to have a pretty large space for that. I've also seen where they've done the triple where you have, you know, the fridge, the freezer, and then like the wine storage behind a glass door. That absolutely looks gorgeous too. Again, you have to have a lot of space for that and a pretty healthy budget to afford it. But I do find if you're going, you know, to spend some money using those really high-end appliances like the Wolf stove, the, the pop-out microwave drawer, you know, if you're not going for an integrated look, that still reads as very modern and almost like that commercial kitchen modern type of a look. So that works as well in your modern kitchen and it really will kind of lend to the type of aesthetic that you're going for in your space. I hope that if you're planning a modern kitchen, this gives you some great starting points and maybe some inspirational images for you to work from to create your dream kitchen. If you enjoyed today's video, check these videos out next. You'll probably enjoy them as well. Until next time, bye.